Thank you. Give it up for Tyler, everybody. Let him hear. There we go. Let, let's, do, let's do a little dance, right? A little truck dance. Come on, folks. Come on. It's a very Caucasian crowd, but you can still move your arms. That's the least you can do. It's the least you can do. Until, there we go. Come on. We've got the Latinas. They're dancing. There are very dancing people, the Hispanics. We love the Hispanics. That I can tell you. Very strongly. Very strongly. Until, thank you, DJ. Thank you, DJ. Thank you. Clap it up for you. Look at that crowd. Look at that crowd. Are you dead? What's going on? Clap it up for yourselves. <laughs> My goodness. Let's get some energy. This crowd, we need strength. And we need stamina. Because we need to take back our country. Look at that beard. I love that beard. You can call it Duck Dynasty. You can call it whatever you want. But I like it a lot. Unbelievable. Look at that, I like that phone case. That's a tremendous phone case. We love it. Look, look, we need some energy. We need some energy. This is like a Sleepy Joe crowd. Come on. Come alive. We're not gonna take back our country with naps. We need to take back our country with energy. That I can tell you. I got energy, right? I got energy. And they indicted me several times. Every time I come out, I do a speech. I'm on the road, I'm giving out blizzards. I said, what the hell is a blizzard? But we gave them out, and we gave them out very strongly. <laughs> Last place I was in Iowa, giving out pizzas. Can you believe it? I've never seen Sleepy Joe give out a pizza. He'll take two bites, and then he'll go take a nap. It's nap time. <laughs> it's nap time for Joe. Unbelievable. You look at the devastation he's brought to our country, right? In what, three short years, three short years, you got cocaine in the White House. <laughs> they used to say that drugs pouring through our border, and now it's ending up in the Oval Office. And they say, we don't know where it came from. We don't know. We don't know. I say, look, I'm not a detective, but I've got an idea. <laughs> I've got an idea. Built a tremendous company. I had a hit television series for 15 years, but I was ne and I became president. I think America's favorite president, if you want to know the truth. Yeah. I was never a detective, but I would say, you know what? I would say, if I was trying to find out who brought the cocaine in, I would say, well, find out who has a history. <laughs> who here has a history of coke or crack? <laughs> and apparently, his son, his son, his boy, Hunter, happens to really like crack. <laughs> he videotapes himself using it. I mean, you'd think if you're using the crack, it's something he wouldn't really want to put out there. But this guy, he's like, is the angle right? Let's get a ring light. Let's give it good lighting. I'm like, that's not something you want to really show off, right? But I don't know. But we're going to come back. We're going to come back. We're going to take our country back from Biden, right? Biden. Such a horror. The guy can't complete a full sentence. Joe doesn't even know he's alive, right? <laughs> Duck Dynasty, you're, you're alive. You know you're alive. <laughs> Joe doesn't know he's alive. He wakes up in the morning. He drinks his breakfast. He can't eat solid foods. Trump can eat solid foods. I like Big Mac. I like McDonald's. I like cookies. We had some great cookies up there. Get, shout out to the people who provided the food. Tremendous food. You look at the sandwich. It was delicious. But the point is, we could all chew, right? We're all capable of chewing. We chew very strongly. Joe, Joe doesn't chew. His wife, Jill, there's another beauty, Jill. Elder abuse, we call it elder abuse, because she knows what's up. She sleeps next to him, we think. We think. She sees it, she sees the degradation of his body, his mind, his, really his spirit, it's gone. But she says, Joe, get out there, Joe, get out there. Because she's, what's the power? It's a power trip. But Jill wakes up and she blends up his breakfast and he goes. <laughs> Every morning he drinks his breakfast. And he got some intern, scribbles some notes on a card and they say, get out there, Joe, read that note. And if he makes a mistake, you know, they do bad things to him. They punish him. It's not good. I feel bad for the guy. He's, he doesn't, Joe doesn't know he's alive. 
Joe doesn't know he's alive. And he comes back and they say, go to bed, Joe. And Joe goes to bed. And then you got cackling Kamala. There's <laughs> another beauty, cackling Kamala. I think she might have been the one with the cocaine, if you like that. <laughs> You see Kamala, she comes out. Well, sometimes we go right, sometimes we go left. It's like a Dr. Seuss run. <laughs> Kamala, he asks you any question. Kamala, what's your favorite food? <laughs> <laughs> Such a disgrace. Such a disgrace. We're gonna fix it, we're gonna fix it so fast. You look at Biden, you know. You look at the fires, Maui, right? Such a devastation. It was a horror what happened in Maui. They send Biden out, and he's always lying to relate to the crowd. If he's in front of Puerto Ricans, he's like, I'm Puerto Rican too, <laughs> right? He's in front of the Jews. I'm a Jew, I left my yarmulke at home. <laughs> but he's in Maui. You look at the devastation, it's a horror. He comes out, hey, my hey, he's like, hey, hey. My, my, my house lit on fire too. And I'm Asian. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? It's such a disrespect to the people of Maui. And then, but meanwhile, they want to come after me. They want to indict me. Right? You look at Hillary. You look at what she did. She took a sledgehammer to the computer chips. Acid washed, right? I say, what the hell? A sledgehammer? And these are, aren't things that I think about. I think about doing great deals for our country. I think about winning. I don't think about computer chips. The only chips I like are potato chips. We had some great ones upstairs, but she's taking a sledgehammer. You look at Obama, right? The chef. What happened to the chef? He's dead. He's dead. Barack Hussein Obama. You could add killing a chef to his resume. He killed the chef. Such a disgrace. And he just came out of the closet. Have you heard about it? Have you heard about it? He came out of the closet. He's an L G B T Q. He's a member of the alphabet community. That's it. Look, if you want to be an alphabet person, you can be an alphabet. I've hired alphabet people. But Obama, we never knew him. He came out. Apparently, he wrote a letter 30 years ago, 40 years ago. All day, I daydream about lots of things. We don't want to say it on this stage. It's inappropriate. <laughs> but it's very interesting, right? It's very interesting. Obama's gay. Maybe Biden's gay. Who knows, right? <laughs> I don't know, I know Trump's not gay, I can tell you that, very strongly. <laughs> very attracted to women. It's gotten me in trouble from time to time. The haters and losers, they come up with false accusations. 30 years ago, he sat next to me on an airplane. These are sick people, they're sick people. But we love these women. These women would never make up a fake Me Too accusation, right? Woo! These are respectable women. No, clap it up for the women, my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this crowd needs a defibrillator. You look in the hospitals, defibrillate. They need a defibrillator, that I can tell you. I'm kidding, I love the crowd, I love the crowd. <laughs> I love the crowd. Hey, we got through cocaine, we talked about Kamala, we talked about Biden. <laughs> the debates, how about the debates, right? You look at me, you look at the polls, I'm up 50, 60, 70. Some are saying I'm at 99%. percent <laughs> right? And the rest, of fighting over that 1%, like mice fighting over a crumb. Right. You look at the debates. I watched, I watched a little before bed. I pulled it up on YouTube. I saw Ramaswamy. did a good job, I like Ramaswamy. He said some very nice things about me. It's an interesting hairline, Ramaswamy. It ends here, but then there's like a little ball of hair. It's very interesting. Hello. Anyways, so you got Ramaswamy. And you've got Rob the Sanctimonious. Oh yeah, there you go. They said he's the he's the new Trump. He's the new Trump. That's why I call him the Sanctimonious. They say he's Trump without the drama. Right. Very interesting. Well, you know what's happening with Trump without the drama? He's dropping like a rock. <laughs> like an ailing bird out of the sky. Did you see the smile? He's like, we're gonna bring back the <laughs> 
What was that smile, right? You call it meme. They were memeing about it all over the place. <laughs> And then I'm watching, and I hear a sound, like a chewing sound. I hear, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I say, what the heck is that? Right? You got the sanctimonious going on about whatever, and I hear, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And then the camera pans over stage left, way to the left, because this guy's at polling at a quarter of a fraction of one percent. And it's Chris Christie. <laughs> and he's eating Cheez-Its. <laughs> Cheez-Its, he's scarfing Cheez-Its down. I say, wow, that's sort of disrespectful to the other debaters on stage, right? <laughs> like, I like food, but I would never eat while debating. But Christy, he can't help himself. It's a real addiction. It's like Hunter with the crack. <laughs> he can't stop. He can't, they, perhaps they should go to the same rehab facility, right? Someplace in Maui or something, or sorry, not Maui, or Malibu, right? They have the <laughs> fancy, they have the fancy rehab facilities. They're like, what are you here for? I'm here for crap. What are you here for? I'm here for Cheez-Its and cupcakes and cookies. Well, it'd be a nice sitcom, right? Christy and Hunter <laughs> together, right? Unbelievable. Who's, who lasts on the island? Unbelievable. And then you got Mike Judas Pence, right? <laughs> There's another beauty. Sold me out down there, although you know what? I could respect Judas more. <laughs> because Judas sold out Jesus for some coin, right? There was, and it, there was like, I'm a deal guy. And I, don't like, I don't like Judas. I don't like Judas. I like Jesus. I don't like Judas. <laughs> But at least he got something in return. You look at Biden, uh, excuse me, Mike. He sold me out for nothing. And then if you look at what's happened to Mike, it's not so good. Last I heard, he's homeless now. He's living in a tent <laughs> in Austin, Texas. They call it Tent City. Mike Pence is living in a tent. And you know, one night I was in sleep. I was asleep in bed with my beautiful wife, Melania. <laughs> and uh, it was a breezy uh, 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 fall morning. I, I'm sorry, it's like late, late at night. And I hear, I hear like a tapping <laughs> at the, on my terrace. I have a big, beautiful terrace. And Melania gets up, baby, should we call the secret service? I said, no, sweetheart, no. <laughs> I'm going to handle it myself. So I go, I open up my beautiful drapes, golden drapes. And I look and I see a guy who looked vaguely familiar. But it wasn't like he used to look. He was ratted in tatted clothes. He looked like the bird lady in Home Alone 2. That was a film I was in, it did very well. He looked like the bird lady, except it wasn't a lady, it was a man. A slovenly man, and I looked and I said, oh my goodness, it's my old VP, Mike Pence. I said, Mike, what happened to you? And he said, Don, he calls me Don. I need $20. I said, Mike, you were a clean cut guy. What happened? He said, I need money for crack. And I couldn't believe it. I, couldn't. I said, well, what happened to the, hello, Mike? Is the mic, what happened to the, what happened? The <laughs> radical left Democrats cut the mic off. <laughs> what are we doing? We need to fix the mic. Tyler, where's Tyler? <laughs> He's having another drink. Tyler, come on, Tyler. Unbelievable. Look at this. Whoever the technician is, you're fired. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> we love this guy. All right. All right. You know what? I did one year of theater in ninth grade. I can project, right? We call it project, right? There we go. Let's get that microphone back. <laughs> Thank you, right? We, we can project, but we don't. We'd rather just use the mic, right? We got the sound, right? Who the heck is back there? They're hanging out with Hunter back there. I don't know what they're doing <laughs> off that desk. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, we talked about this, we talked about that, we talked, hello? Oh my goodness, all right, listen. I got 29 seconds left, listen. Look, we're gonna come back, right? Who wants me to come back? And can you believe the psychology 
the psychologist that the radical left are going to need the day I come back. And you come back. <laughs> Dr. Phil's going to put a new swing on his house. He's going to get a bright job. Dr. Phil's going to have a lot of clients because people are going to lose their minds. They're going to lose their minds, right? So look, they're, oh, that's good. Now, there we go, Tyler. I was just kidding about the booze. I was just kidding. <laughs> He doesn't seem to like it, though, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so look, we're gonna rebuild our military. We're gonna fix trade, right? We're gonna fix trade. You look at what Biden's doing with trade. It's a horror. We're gonna lower taxes, right? Who wants to pay taxes, right? I love that guy. We do so well with the African Americans. You look at them, unbelievable. You look at them. They love the lunch yet. We're winning so big. We're gonna finish the wall. And we're gonna do, right, it's sequel, right? It's the new, I'm gonna come back so you need some new exciting things. We're gonna put, I'm officially announcing at the Defending Freedom Summit, and we're gonna put a mall inside the wall. Woo! We're gonna have 2,000 miles of wall, of mall, <laughs> and we're gonna have a theme park, right? When you come in legally, you get on the roller coaster and Woo! it ends in America. <laughs> Right? You're gonna come in legally. It's gonna be a lot better than Disney World, right? It's gonna be a lot better. And unlike Walt, I like the Jews. I don't have a problem with the Jews. <laughs> Jews will be welcome at Moorland, that I can tell you. Very Woo! We did so much for Israel, that I can tell you. But uh, we're gonna do it all. And we're gonna make America great again. Again! And Franklin, look. It's gonna be huge, okay? Folks, thank you. You've been tremendous, we love you. Stay in school, we love the African Americans. We love the African Americans, we do so well. to the 47th president of the United Woo! States of America, Donald Trump. I didn't get a chance to introduce myself earlier, but my name is Alex Kroll. 